We're going to use this house that we're in kind of as an example. And where I start out with just thinking about passive solar design is looking at the house from the side that can either be the east or the west. And so this is the general shape of the house. Um, and from there, you can start to kind of imagine and draw in your sun angles. So here, our summertime sun angle was about 77 degrees from the horizon. So that's somewhere in there. Our equinox angle was around 54 degrees. So that's about there. And the winter angle was 31 or so degrees. So that's about there. So this is just kind of the initially visualizing things. Um, and these angles were in the middle of the day. It's going to change early in the morning and later in the day to be a little bit different. But this helps me start thinking about, you know, at what height I might want to place my windows. And so again, using the example of this house, the windows are somewhere in, in that range. And, uh, but we've got an overhang on here and the the hope we have with our overhang is to have it block that summer sun. But at some point uh, in the spring and fall, we do want to start letting light in, you know, when it's not really warmed up a whole bunch or it's cooled off a lot going into winter. We still want that light coming into the house and we definitely want the deep winter sun making it all the way into the house and, and really helping to warm things up. So in the next step, we're gonna actually do a little 3D uh, demonstration of this and go a little bit further into it. So I made a little cardboard model of the house that we're in to help us just visualize things a little bit better. Uh, I've kind of exaggerated the front window orientation. These windows are planned to go in this house one day, kind of higher up. Uh, but it's just going to help us get the idea of windows placed higher versus windows placed lower. And I only put two of these larger windows down here just to help the lighting show up a little bit more. Uh, and then I've also got some spots in the side for the side window and the side door to see, you know, how those things play an effect on the sun getting into the house through different times of the year. So. This is a fun little thing you can do at home um, and just help you get a better idea and understanding of how your design is going to work out and, and where the sun's going to be at through the day. So I've got a headlamp here I'm going to be using as the sun and um, we'll just take a look at the different sun angles throughout the year. So if this house were ideally placed, the one that we're in, where this wall is pointing south, and the sun would rise over here in the east, and this would be kind of a, a summertime angle. Sun's going to be up pretty high and set almost right in line with the house, depending on your latitude, of course. And we can see things like putting in an overhang can really make a huge difference. If you don't have an overhang, you're going to have light coming in the house in the summer, but you can properly size that overhang so that you get nice shading right there. In the spring and fall around the equinox, you're going to have a little bit lower of an angle, something like that. And then our winter angle is quite low down here. So the light really comes in very different ways throughout the year. Thank you. 